what does the Ansible command and what are the Ansible ad hoc commands? I'm going to show you in a live demo. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. So Ansible command, the Ansible command is probably the first helpful command to learn when you start your journey with Ansible. It is included in every Ansible installation for the most modern operating system. It relies on Python language and some libraries such as Jinja, YAML and WinRM, etc. It is a command line tool, so interact with that using your terminal. Using the Ansible command, you could perform some operation to a target node, for example executing single modules or retrieving system information, aka Ansible facts. Each command in the Ansible jargon is called a module. Each module has its own parameter for the execution that you could read in the documentation. It is useful when you would like to execute only one module, aka task, against a limited amount of hosts. The next step in your automation journey will be to use the Ansible playbook command, is Ansible-playbook, with the Ansible playbook that enable you to execute more tasks against more hosts. Now, demo time. Let me show you how to execute some Ansible ad hoc commands via Ansible command. I will show you how to use the ping module, run a command to retrieve the Ansible fact from a target node via the Ansible command line. Are you ready? Let's have fun! First of all, open a terminal in your operating system. It might be easy, just find out in the application the terminal that you are going to use. This is on Macintosh but will be similar to yours. Once the Ansible is correctly installed, you will be able to use the Ansible command and the most useful things to do is using the dash dash version parameter. So this parameter only print out on screen the latest release, the current release of Ansible, in my case is core 2.13.5 and there are also other information that could be useful, for example the Python version 3.10.8, Jinja version 3.1.2 and other uh, path where to search for module, where to use for, where to search for Python, where to search for collection. These are pa advanced parameters, but for now the important thing is that the Ansible command is up and running. So first command that we are going to run is the Ansible ping command. So Ansible-m is the module name, module is the command in Ansible slang, ping, and localhost is the target host. Feel free to substitute with whatever host is useful for you. As you can see, I got a success result, which means that Ansible was able to connect to the target host and execute the ping module. What the ping module does? Well, you return a pong text. Yes, ping pong, wow, so magic. Behind the scene, Ansible was connecting via SSH to the target machine with a current user and be able to establish the connection. Ok, now let's complicate it a little bit. What if we would like to execute uh, a command? So we need to use another parameter that is dash "-a", that is the internal command module and for example let me execute uh, a popular Linux command, so slash bin slash echo and hi against localhost. So the target machine will execute this command and return the result via Ansible. As you can see this time we got uh, a change of status which means some operation were performed on the target machine. When you execute a command 
always you return a change status, even if you don't change any file or directory. So in this case, we have hi our message in, uh, in the output. Yay! Underneath is using ansible.builtin.command module that is able to execute a lot of commands on the target machine. There are some restrictions about the pipe and uh, output redirection. So if you're curious, jump in the documentation. So another thing that we can do is executing more Ansible module. But in my opinion, the most useful is the module setup. This, the setup module return all the Ansible facts of, uh, uh, of a target node. So for example, let me use for listing all the Ansible facts that are the system information for Ansible of localhost. Are you ready? Be prepared, the list is so long. So as you can see, there are a lot of interesting information about uh, the network devices, IP addresses, also Ansible user, the current uh, version of Python, uh, some information about the processor and the operating system. As you can see, this is specifically for my Macintosh machine and the result will be, of course, different from yours. Also the environment, uh, what else? Also here we have all the network devices. Yes, I have some on my machine. The output will be different on yours, of course, because you have a different MAC address as well, also different configuration. So you can use all of this information. Daytime is very useful for returning data and time. Also, what else? Uh, you can see the architecture and many, many information. So the amount of information changes machine by machine, but some of that are standard. So for example, Ansible all IPv4 addresses is always present and list all the IPv4 addresses of your machine, as well also Ansible all IPv6 addresses. So uh, if you don't know what uh, are the Ansible facts uh, in your machine, simply type ansible-m setup and the target machine and it will uh, return all of this. Now you are able to execute Ansible ad hoc commands between uh, your machine and a target machine. Isn't this magic? Yes, I believe so. So this is the first step of your Ansible automation journey. Yay! Now you know the Ansible command and how to execute Ansible ad hoc command by command line. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and let's automate more in our journey. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day!